Now this video shows how to activate the Hyper-V feature in your um, in your a AMD uh, machine. So this is first uh, what we have here is our PC with a AMD Ryzen uh, 18 1800X 8 core processor Ryzen 7. And in this system, in an AMD processor uh, machine, you have by default no Hyper-V activated. So what you first have to do, you restart your PC and you have to activate it um, in the BIOS. Now what you have to do is you have to restart your PC. You start your PC and you push the delete button on my system. And then you go to the advanced field in the CPU and there you find the SVM module and you have to enable it. That's all what you have to do in the first moment. And then you have to restart it here on, you're restarting it on the escape or F10 on this point. F10, save and restart. And then when you have done this, then you go to your system. That's here now my system. And you go here to your features, features, here on this uh, icon, features. And there you find following positions. You find Hyper-V. This should be available to uh, selectable to click on this click field. And you have to activate both. And you have a second, uh, second position here, the Windows Hypervisor platform. Also check on this one. So if you have checked it, then you should be somehow able to get it on your machines uh, like the virtual machines Hyper-V or your um, or here on SDK you also need it on there and that's the trick how you get it running